which of the graphs represent the following two linear equations. Let's start by putting these linear equations into slope-intercept form, which looks like y, let me put that over here actually, y equals mx plus b, where m is equal to our slope, and b is equal to our y-intercept. Let's take this first one, 4x plus 4y equals 4. If we want to isolate y, we need to do opposite operations. 4x is positive. The opposite would be subtracting it from both sides. These will cancel, leaving us with 4y equals negative 4x plus 4. Then opposite operations, 4 times y, 4 divided from both sides. These will cancel, and we will be left over with y equals negative 4 divided by 4 would just give us a negative 1. And then 4 divided by 4, again, would give us a positive 1. So we have y equals negative x plus 1. So our slope for this first one should be negative. We're looking for a negative slope. And we're looking for our b, which is a positive 1. So if we look at all of our answer choices, answer choice A doesn't have a single graph that's crossing the y-axis at 1, so it's incorrect. B, same thing, neither of the graphs are crossing the y-axis at 1, incorrect. C, 1 is almost crossing at 1, but not quite, so C is incorrect. And D is the only graph, excuse me, the only answer choice that has a graph passing through uh, y equals 1, which makes D our correct answer. At that point, you could mark it and move on with the rest of your test, but for the sake of the video, I'll go ahead and show you uh, the rest of the reason why answer choice D is correct. Let's put this other equation into slope-intercept form now. We will have negative 3x minus 5y equals negative 7. Let's move y this time. So if 5y is being subtracted, we're going to add 5y to both sides. Opposite operations cancels negative 3x equals 5y minus 7. Now to isolate y, uh, 7 is being subtracted from y, so we can add opposite operations to both sides. These will cancel, leaving us with negative 3x plus 7 equals 5y. And the last step, 5 is being multiplied to y, so we need to divide everything by 5. And that will give us negative 3 over 5x plus 7 over 5, uh, and that is all equal to y. So we're looking for another uh, another line with a negative slope, which would have eliminated answer choice A uh, for having both a positive and a negative slope graph. Everything else has two negative sloping graphs. Then we're looking for a y-intercept that is uh, greater than 1. We could rewrite this mixed fraction as 1 and 2 fifths. So we would be looking for uh, answer choice D, which has a y-intercept right at 1, and then has a y-intercept a little bit above 1 at that 1 and 2 fifths mark, making D the correct answer.